Hello, hello, hello. Right, hello everybody. Welcome to another Hogwarts Legacy stream. As I say, I know I said in <clears throat> yesterday's stream, I said I would be back within an hour. Yeah, that kind of didn't happen because after I did what I needed to do, I landed up getting sidetracked and landed up doing other stuff. So that's why I didn't return. But I'm returning to finish off from where we left off to do some more Hogwarts Legacy. But yeah, if you're interested, guys, this game is out now on Xbox One. Sorry, try again. Uh, this game is available now on Xbox Series X and S. And PlayStation 5 and PC. On the 4th of April 2023, this game will be available to play for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And for the 24 Nintendo Switch. This game will be available on the 25th of July. So, <clears throat> yeah, if you're interested, guys, that's when it's still going to be available. But yeah, I say, if you're watching this on YouTube, guys, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It always helps. Also, feel free to hit the notification bell as well. And uh, feel free to give this video a like if you enjoy what you see. And feel free to share as well. <clears throat> but yeah, I will put all my links in the doobly-doo down below, like my Twitch, my Discord. And I am putting work in Discord links down below now, guys. So, there we go. And I'll put Hogwarts Legacy down below as well, so you guys can have a go at it yourselves. But yeah, just so you know, guys, uh, this game is... I'm playing on the Digital Deluxe Edition. Which was about $74.99 on Xbox. You can also get another version, which is $64.99 as well. They're Xbox prices, guys. So, and I believe the Xbox One version, when it comes out, will be $59.99. So, there we go. But anyway, guys, let's get into Hogwarts Legacy, shall we? Right, hopefully, it's actually loaded and kept me saved where I kind of left off from yesterday. If not, we'll have to do it all over again. Right, there we go. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -boo -boo. Right, bear with me a second. I need to just get my grips of what I'm doing. Okay. So, I do need to go and find... Yeah, I do need to go and find... Um... Some flux weed seeds. <clears throat> that I do need to go and find. I'm not 100% sure where they even are. Uh, thank you, bird. The bird is the word. Yeah, shush. I say I have tried to look on the internet, but can't seem to find it. Right, I'm gonna go and look um, in the. <clears throat> A bit of forest, see if there's anything down there. I might be able to find some in the Forbidden Forest. It's just, I need, um, hello. Revelio. Sorry, it's just, I saw, um, what's that get? I don't know what that gate is to. Thank you. Hello. Hmm. Sorry, I like exploring as well in this game, if you've probably noticed. Perhaps I shall scout around Spellcroft for something to poach. Oh shush. Lace swing flies, thank you very much. And some singing flowers. Thank you. Let's just go down here a second. You've made a mistake. Potato! 
Have I really made a mistake? You're the one who made the mistake, mate, not me. Aha! Thank you, I'll have some of you. You're gonna regret coming here. Am I? <laughs> okay, you're just you're just talking to yourself, mate. Right, that was some moonstone. Right, let's just go back to my map. Actually, no, let's not go back to my map. Aha! I have got enough coin to go to <coughs> the thingy place now. Um, da -da 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 -da. hogs me map, please. Thank you very much. Now I've got enough to go to the magic meat now and get some flux weed seeds from there instead of going round the grounds and looking for them. It's because, guys, I need them for a potion. That's why. The potion I need it for is. Focus potion. Because we've got everything for the Maxima potion. We've got everything that we need for the Endurous potion. It's just we need it for the. Uh, <clears throat> Bear with me a second, customer. Thank you. I'll have that. Right, the magic neep is up here. Hello, mate. Hello. Be with Hello. You in a bit. You'll be with me in a bit, will you? Have you got any flux? Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Nah, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Revelio. I love that. Wow. Right, now what we need to do is go and see Prof... Um, no. I was about to say, well, we need to go and see Professor Snape. No, we do not, actually. No, where we need to go is up to the Room of Requirement and do some potions up there is where we need to go. <clears throat> because, as I say, in the Room of Requirement, we have a potions table. Ah. Oh. You don't feel well. Oh, didums. I oh, know, I've got a flu powder, a flu. Yeah, I've got, I've got one of those. Hello, Deke. Long time no see, Deke. Uh, that's a planter potions. Oh, scooties. I just made a wi um a wig and wild potion. Oops. But yeah, I've just used an ingredient. I bet you I've just used an ingredient. It will destroy that. Thank you very much. No. Luckily enough, we didn't. So we need a. Focus potion. Which takes about a minute to make. Reduces the drinker's spell cooldowns. I'd say these are for Professor Sharp. In these potions. Look 
Da, 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 da. Right, nearly done. There we go. So we have a focus potion. We need a maximum potion as well, which is going to take about 30 seconds to make. So it increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. There we go. Right, we'll have that one, thank you very much. And we need this one as well, which... A potion that enhances the drinker's defense by covering them with durable rocky skin. I believe this takes about 30 seconds to make as well. And then what we've got to do is um, drink them then. That's the next thing we've got to do is drink them. And there we go. So, that's the potions made. Now, the focus potion. That's the focus potion. Just gotta wait for the focus potion to wear off. Now the Maximus Potion. Excellent. Let me just check to see if that's ticked it off. There you go, it has um, ticked it off actually. That is amazing. That is amazing. Da, 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 da. Right, what's this? Uh, the magic neep cart. Okay. Uh, let's just check gear, shall we? Okay, neckwear. A teal palmette scarf. No, thank you. Um. Yeah, I need to go to the map is where I need to go. Right, um... Let's just check my inventory quickly while I'm here. It's not telling me what I've picked up new. Weird. Right, uh, map again. Okay, it's not showing up that, um, yeah, it's not showing that quest. There you go, we'll take some flu powder to get to the potions class. Meow. There we go. You got a bit of leg ache there, mate. I went to see Professor Sharp.
How are your assignments coming along? How are my assignments coming along? Okay. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn the Pulso. Let's see what you can do. The Pulso. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. There we go, we've learned the Pulso. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Sharp. I just felt like doing that. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was sure before I invented blue powder. Can't I? I need to be level 14 to do that mission. Mesh mission? Wow. But we can do the helm of an uh, uh cannot. So we are gonna go <clears throat> back over to Hogsmeade again. I say I know I'm doing a lot of flu powdering now, but sometimes I just can't be asked to like run there or walk there. Hopefully, at some point, we can buy ourselves a broomstick as well. Yeah, hopefully, we can buy a broomstick at some point and then fly everywhere. Hello there. Nice to see you. Bavilia. Love that as well, thank you. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. We'll just have a drink and soon to eat while we're here. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgok. <sighs> He's a friend. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumours I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Lodgok. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. 
I don't know what you've done to make <clears throat> such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Yes. Right, let's go and find Loggock. While doing that in the process. Hello, pretty cat. E. E. Really? How very rude. I didn't do anything. Pretty cat. Kitty. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. Ha ha. Thank you, Amit. Sorry, I just had to nick an apple. Welcome to Hold the armshed. And the empty seat is yours. Yeah, we'll just have a drink. Can I help you with something? <laughs> <laughs> Ding. Thank you, I love some of them as well. Alright, hello, Lord Gok. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to. So I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me. And she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you... Very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Okay. The witch's tomb. Yeah, don't walk into everything. Oh, the work it takes <laughs> Uh, hello. God, we seem to be drinking a lot. Uh, hello. Thank you. Just decided to do, trim the bush. There's the magic meat. But we're going this way. Doesn't like me. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. Right, we've got to follow him now. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Yes. Actually, I'm just going to go down here a second. 
Aha. Uh -huh. I have some of them as well. So the more I shoot at things, the more XP I can get. Right, come on, up, 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 up and away. Sorry about that, like up. Oh, it's another one of them. Another one bites the dust. <clears throat> Just picked up some coin as well. Whatever I just picked up. Oh, Moonstone I just picked up. Go on in, log up. Let's go. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Oh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? I don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb. Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and, most effectively, fire. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Urtgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. Yes. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. Thank you. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please be careful. Yes, lad, Logok, I'll be careful. I do need to make some changes to spells here. Lumos. There we go, thank you. Right, into the tomb. Okay, so we need... No, you bloody idiot. Get back there. Lumos. Moths. Curious. There we go. There's the door opening. Lumos. Merlin's beard. Merlin's... Oh, Jesus, I swear they've got a thing about Merlin's beard here. I think Merlin must be a very popular person if they've got a thing for Merlin's beard. His tomb. Likely I need to go further. No. Oh, thank you. 
Should have you over there. Lumos. Some more coin. Thank you very much. Some more coin. Thank you very much. Can't go without the coin. Thank you. Please come again. Grab some product while we're here as well. What's in the chest? Ah, golden dragon eye spectacles. Is there anything else to collect in this room? No. But yeah, the graphics in this game, guys, are literally look amazing. It is unfreaking believable. There we go. Doors open. Lumos. <sighs> I have a feeling I'm not alone here. No, you're not alone. I'm not alone. <laughs> okay, Infernite must be struck with a fire spell to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Visit the, visit the collection menu to learn about the weaknesses. Okay, so we do have a fire spell. Oh, oh. Push you while here. You did not like that, did you guys. <laughs> Lumos. We'll go around and pick up the bits we need. See if there's anything else to pick up in this room. No, there is nothing else to pick up in this room. We'll have some of that while we're here as well. Right, I need to get a moth on that thing. Moth! Right, okay. Because I saw this thing in the distance going up, we need to... Oh, we've got another moth. Moth. Okay, we need three moths. Lumos. No. Lumos. I love that moth, thank you. Lumos. Right, where's the other moth? Ah, oh, there he is. Where contraptions to get through doors? Moths. Hello again, Bob. As you can see, Bob, I'm back at Hogwarts Legacy again. I say there's plenty of this on my channel, but, uh, Bob. What's there's... that hanging there? Looks precarious. I'll put it this way, Bob. I am. Um, I thought I'd just chuck it out there now. Yeah, shut up. I thought I'd just chuck it out there now, uh, Bob. That Train Sim World 3 has been now completely taken off my channel. I am no longer streaming it anymore. It's been taken off. I say I'm streaming other stuff now instead of just trains. Right. Um, we need to go this way. Weirdly, Lumos. why do I need... Hang on, unless I need to get it up... Unless there's something up here that I need. Lumos. Oh, there's a box. Okay, that's why that thing was there. Uh, right. Sorry, I thought I'd just run into things. Right, he's good. 
Yes, that is true. That's what I like doing. I like doing variety. I don't like doing streaming the same thing every single time. Right. But yeah, there's plenty of this going on my channel, but plenty of this game. Right. That's what I need to shoot that. Down I go. No other way. Lumos. Right, so anything else in this room I need to grab before I go down the hole. Right, we're going down the hole. Uh, is that oh? Right, we need to go that way. Right, bag. Yeah, so if you want to know, Bob, we're in some sort of um We're in some sort of cave. Oh, we're in a witch's cave. Oi! You mind? Wow, that was a lot of fighting today. At least we've got loads of things to pick up though. Which is helpful. Lumos. Right, I love you. And you need to go. Right. Hang on a moment before I go. Lumos. I love that, thank you very much. Right, can I aim from here? I should have gone up there. Right, let me need to go over here. Oh no you oh you do do Lumos this looks even more complex I didn't even get it up there Lumos Jesus. <clears throat> right, we got a problem. Houston, we got a problem. Lumos. What did it do? What did it do? What? 
No, I need to put the moth on there. Right, I need another I need another moth. Lumos. Um, hang on. No, 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 no. Get your butt back on there. You little scallywag. Making this spin ought to reach that platform. That must be it. Oh, for God's sake. Lumos. Ah, hang on. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Brains. Aha. Lumos. Come here. Oh, okay. Fair enough. The witch's well, final resting place. Lord Gog said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Yeah, her sarcophagus is ash here. Winder. Better show this to Lord Gog. Well, hello to everybody in Bob's coffee shop. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, right. Where are we going? I've just lost her on going now. We're not going that way, because that's where we just came. Oh, we'll go, um... Hmm, I know there's a mechanism to open this door. There we go. Right, we're back outside now, and Lodgok is here. Lodgok, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. Yeah, that's fine. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Actually, can I turn to night to, um, night till day? Yeah, I can change it from night till day. No, that's still night time. Hang on, can I change it again? Or is it going to change it from day to... Nope. I don't know if that's sunset or sunrise. I think that's sunrise, actually. Ah, some toadstools. Some moonstone, some coin as well. What else have we got down here? Ah, I'll have some more moonstone, thank you very much. I don't know what that is up there. A castle. Ah. Must have been quite stately in its time. Hello. If 
if I go down there, is there any way up? No, there isn't. So I'm not going to go down there. I'm going to go and deal with the camp. I'm going to go and see the campers. <clears throat> I believe we are back in... Sorry, did you just call me a cake slapper? Where are you? What are you up to now? What am I up to now? Hmm. I seem to be in this game hearing uh, a lot about Cambridge. Oh yeah, and if anybody wanted to know, this game is actually set in the UK as well. We're actually up in the Scottish Highlands, if people wanted to know. There they are. The Ashwinders. No more happy days for you. You will not survive this fight. Slow. Pathetic. Set the arrow. Ha ha. Whoa, 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 hello. We have got a troll. I just turned him into a chicken. <laughs> I can't believe that. Alright, we've got a chest in here. Right, um... Sometimes... Ah, toadstools. We'll have some of them. You can never have enough toadstools. Never. There we go. Chop the wood. Chop the wood. Oh, I love that. I love that while it's on the floor. Thank you very much. Right, is there anything up here? Yes, there is. That's it. Oh, hello. This is but Rockwood. <laughs> Somebody out there. You're going to regret that. <sighs> Made a great mistake. I made a grave mistake. I did it. And an Ashwinder no less. No, you made the grave mistake, mate. I didn't. Right, we're going back to Loggock now. After we've just taken out all those people. That was pretty easy. These rocks have seen better days. Oh, I shall enjoy this. Uh, were you the guy that was talking about Cambridge earlier? Red coming here. Uh, uh, 
Am I even trying? And you're the one that's on the floor. Really? Are you seriously that stupid? <clears throat> and you were the guy that was talking about Cambridge earlier. What a cabbage. Okay, one coin. Right, let's climb up the stairs. Hello. I've got a leather flat cap as well. Right, while we're actually here, let's have a look at uh, what we've got. So, in the gear, we have now Dark Hearts Dueling Gloves. We have brown leather fingerless gloves. We'll have them. Eyewear, so we have shiny wooden spectacles, which are those, which look horrible. Then we've got golden dragon eye spectacles, which are those, which I don't like either. Headwear, <clears throat> so we've got the dark herbologist hat, which is that. And we've also got a leather flat cap, which is that, which I do not like either one. Then we come over to neckwear. So we have the teal papamet scarf and the Azura Nilf Nilf scarf. I think that's about all we've got in there. Yes, it is. Oh, I've got my inventory. How many of uh I cannot. Also picked up a stench, a stench of the dead, and troll bogies. In talents, we've got one talent, so we can add that to the room of requirement. Which we're going to have fertilizer. There we go. Let's have a look in the collections while we're here. So, Ashwinder Soldier, Ashwinder Executioner, Ashwinder Assassin, Inferus, Forest Troll, anything else in here? Nope. What have we got in? Traits. Okay, Unforgiven 3. What about in here? We've got three, the three broomsticks. In here, we've got Stench of the Dead and Troll Bogies. In here, we've got Combat. Let's have a look. So we can collect that reward, we can collect that reward, and we can claim that reward as well. I believe there's another one as well somewhere. Okay, that's the one we're working on, and that's the one we're working on as well. Okay, outpost, what have we got in here? Professor Sharp. You need to learn Dupluso, the Banishing Curse. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we've already done, uh, done that. What's this one? Complete the tasks I've tax. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then we will meet in my classroom to learn Defindo, the Serving Charm. It's typical, typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Hey, we've also got that mission to do. Uh, go down to collections again. Let's have a look in here. What do we got? Protectors embolism. And then in here, in traits, we've got uh, 
the necromotic protection and then we're also over here in appearances we've got let's have a look down here i can't seem to find where are you oh there you are mm. the dragon hide protector's cloak okay so Acquire and use Invisibility Potion. Acquire and use a Thunder Brew Potion against enemies. Okay, we're also going to... Uh, once we've done this mission, we're going to go and talk to Glad Gl uh, Gladwin Moon. Is what we're going to do after this. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do... What to do? I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. Excellent. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. There we go. So that's the Lugot mission completed. Right, now we're going to go and do a different mission. We're now going to go and do the Caretaker's mission. Which we've got to go all the way back to Hogwarts. Hoggy, hoggy, Hogwarts. Hoggy, hoggy, Hogwarts. Okay, I've got no spell thingy. I mean, I've got no flu. Okay, we'll go to the Ravenclaw Tower. <clears throat> then I can go from yeah. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Handy resource indeed. Your... Yes, thank you. Hello. Revelio. Thank you. I'll have you. Thank you very much. So we're in a different part of the um, tower now, or the the the, the um, castle. Castle. Revelio. That's the way we're after. Castle. There you are. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Sorry about that, I still have my nose. Hopefully, I actually call that a screenshot. Now, there we go. You wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment. See if you can remove the moon from the statue. Odd little contraptions, aren't they? Well, that was easy. It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. 
Egypt, which incidentally can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> go, faculty yes. tower. Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Oh, there goes a ghost. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Mm. Alohomora, that's how. But Alohomora. what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Oh, okay, we do learn Alohomora. There we go, we've learnt Alohomora. Right. No, not that. Oh, what's that spell? Ringardium Leviosa. Right. That I need to equip. Oh yeah, I don't need to uh, equip Alohomora, do I? Alohomora. Because it's automatically equipped. There we go, we've unlocked it. Well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle. Okay. 
Cash for video reveals authority figures and enemies uh, locations, allowing you to scout ahead and remain undetected. Or I can just look on the map. Okay, I'll let you guys read that yourselves. I can't go that way because that door's locked. Okay, what's up here? A chest. Chesty. How are your students getting along this year? Rather poorly, I'd say. How are your students getting along this year? We're raising a generation. Pavelia. Oh, okay. That was a bit weird. We 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 we. This must be the prefect's bathroom. I meant to say weird and random. Okay, that was nice and easy. Sorry, just turning the taps on. There we go, a demi guy's moon. She's right. Why don't you leave goblins alone, you troll? Hello, Amora. Okay, we just picked up some green striped gloves. So I just had to go to the toilet. Don't mind me. Right, up to the hospital wing. Yes, we are off on another adventure. Count of my venomous tentacular. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. <laughs> students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Ding. Huh. I had planned to bet a few gallons on level Hufflepuff 15. Down the stairs and hello. Whoa. Hello, hello, hello. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh goodness, you're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. See, if we, we didn't can even collect get more, caught. it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. Incorus Carp to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the boggart in Oxmead, does it? No. 
I am determined with your help to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Right. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you. If you were to ever unravel their meaning. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Yes. <laughs> right, level 15. Haha, -ha -ha. excellent. Right. Into the start menu, let's have a nosy. Right, let's go to gear. Okay, Quidditch gloves, green striped gloves. Okay, I believe that's all we've got in there. Right, inventory, what have we got in here? The demiguide's moon. And the wizarding crackers notice. Talents. So we can spend another talent on spells and we're going to spend it on the Leviosa Mister Mastery. Collections. Uh, I believe it is this one here <coughs> honey duke's passageway hidden behind one of the statues the a one-eyed witch is secretly is the secret passageway to the hogwarts from hogwarts to the cellar of honey dukes it can only be accessed by using a particular charm okay Didn't realise that. Right. Um. Yeah. Chicken. Um. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> right. Professor Garlics is that one. Professor Sharps is that one. Professor O'Neill. Cast a blue nose on the levitating enemy. <clears throat> so, flight tests, nope. Start, uh, speak with Parry Pippin. Right, I'm gonna go and do that one. Which is... Oh, hello. <clears throat> Hang on, no, 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 no. We're gonna go and see my friend Deke. That's it, we're gonna go and see my little friend Deke. Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. 
pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area, so perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out there on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Thank you, Neek. Ne ne Deke. Deke loves an outing. Uh, I don't know what's going. I don't know what is going on with my FPS. I do not have a freaking clue. Sorry about that, guys. My FPS went weird. So if you didn't understand that bit, sorry about that. My FPS went a bit Ugh, for some a reason. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. My FPS has gone back to normal now. Thanks, Twitch. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Okay, so we've got a knapsack, which we need to do this. We need to equip it. Right, let's go and get a puff skin, shall we? Hey, we've res um. You got one. Yay, we got a puff skin. I managed to rescue a puff skin. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skins, and well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Okay. We're going to go somewhere else. Thank you, Deke. At least one thing, at least we're working through all this. I must say, guys, each stream you see of this game, there's always something else to do. This place has seen better days. Ah, we'll have some toadstools, thank you very much. Okay, noisy sod. Yeah, we're going up there is where we're going. Ah, uh, hello. Ah, no, 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 no. We don't want to fall down there. Thank you very much. So a lot of things flapping around. Uh, move out of the way, please. Thank you. There's the Quidditch pitch, which... 
has been uh, cancelled. So we're going to go up here. So yeah, if you're hoping in this game, guys, to play Quidditch, uh, the answer to that is no. Oh, nearly fell. God, I'll tell you, it's quite a run. I'm just gonna go over here a second. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu We'll grab that flu flu flame while we're up here as well. <clears throat> just in case at some point I need to come back up here. Ah the um job canals. And some coin as well. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanols are just here in this large the tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Deke will be waiting. Right, Leviosa. I'll put that there. Hey, we're going over here. We're going over here. Du, 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 du. Let me go, Aha! We've done it! A drop and all. I rescued a job and all. Deke hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cosy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Right, we wee 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 wee. Oh, for God's sake. There you go, I'm off with the wee 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 wee. I wish we could do that and just click the fingers and just. somewhere. But near, yeah, we can't. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. 
So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a mooncalf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Right. So what we need to do is... Hello. Okay, so we need to go to the quest map. We need to wait. Switch it from day to night. Okay, that was fast. Professor Howen will never believe this. No, I don't want you. Go away. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Thank you, Deke. All right, we're going to return to the room of requirements. Uh, I need to do that. I need to do D D D D D D. Oh, for God's sake! There we go. D D D D D D D. There we go. We're going to fly up to the room of requirement now. There we go, we've uh, appeared at the Room of Requirement. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Wow. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. No. I did not mean to do that. Never Actually, mind. Perhaps another time. It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. <laughs> oh. There we go. They've all got a new home. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. 
If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Right, we did, 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 words again. Right, we need to equip the brush and the food. Most excellent. Ah, we, um, give the puff skin a good brush. And some food as well. And the puff skin should be happy then. And we can collect some puffskin fur. And give you some food as well. Um, and you. Hello. On the tummy. And some food as well. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Right, we need the conjuring spell now. And we need a enchanted doom. I'm trying to think where to put this. Ah. Right, we will... Okay, so gear features one primary offence or defence state by default. Magical materials can be used used with the loom to add an upgrade secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. New beasts can be rescued at the beast ends with that symbol or unlocked in quests. New trait recipes can be collected from the bandit camps. <clears throat> right, we'll go with... Um... So if you trait... Okay, we've got an upgrade and item of clothing as well. Came out nicely. I should show Deke. Deke, where is Deke? Oh, Deke's up there. Cheeky. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deed suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. 
Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. There we go. So we've done Deke's mission as well. Challenge complete. Complete main quests. Right, what other quests have we got? Aha! Meet Sebastian in Feldencroft. But first, before we go there... So, yep, yep, and yep. So I believe this is where we're probably going to meet Anne. His sister. Right, fences, benches, enchanted loom. And then over here in beasts, we've got the job and all, and the moon calf. And then outpost. What have we got here for outpost? <clears throat> okay, and Mrs. Oaks. Hello, please forgive the sudden request, but might I speak with you? I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with, with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Mrs. Weasley or Professor Weasley, what do you want? Now that you've attended Beast class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room for further studies in that you regard. We've already just we've just done that. Um Sebastian Swallow. <clears throat> As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on the promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Philcroft soon, so I'll forward, look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well. The Blasting Curse is still one of my favourites. And then we've also got this one, which is Serona. Hello friend, I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when I when you can. I would like to help you with something. Okay. And then go over into quests. Where else? The man behind the moons. Yeah, we'll do some of those quests when we've done with the other bit. Quests. Okay, we've got another item to claim. Okay, we've still got another one. <clears throat> another one bites the dust. <laughs> Sorry. Um, can, hello. Oh, we've got someone in the room with requirement. Requirement. Requi requi that word. Room of requirement, you banana. Okay, you're back into collections. Okay, legendary mask. Um, right, I'll get out of the astronomy tower. Right, we need to go and meet Sebastian. We're going to take a... Um, a walk there, or a run there, whatever. Uh, where are we going? Oh, we're going through here. Pillock. Someone seems to be so squeaky. Ah, no, we don't want to go to Professor Fig at the moment. Mm. 
Um, okay, somebody looks like they're being strangled or killed. Oh, Peeves, sod off. Peeves really does my bloody head in. Oh, hello, you two. What's wrong? Normally, you two beat yourself up, beat, like, beat each other up normally. Take it this time, you can't be bothered. Oh, the door's playing up again. <laughs> right, we are going to have to... World map. Wow, we have got to go quite far. Bear with me, caller. Yeah, we've got a flu flame just there. Uh, excuse me. Hello. We're going to jump to that flu flame. Because I say the doors out to the ground are playing up with me again. Seems a pleasant enough little place. And you know what? We're actually going to turn it from day to... Words again. We're going to change it from... Night back today again. There we go. Right. Ow. I'm also going to uh, do some doodads on the way as well. You do not like spiders. Spider fang. We're actually going to be going quite far this time. I just ping something up, I don't know what it was. Whatever <clears throat> I just killed there, I don't have a clue. That was a goat. Oh, hello. You realise you wanted to come and play spider. Mm. Right, off we go. Off we go. Still got quite a way to go. Go on, let me try and do something. You're going to try and do something. Bear with me, caller. I know what that means. 
Oh, shush. That's why, because I haven't got that in place, that bloody why. Right, we'll find another enemy and we'll try it on them. <clears throat> I knew I went wrong somewhere. There we go. Hello. Hello. Another load of quests. <clears throat> Another load of quests complete as well now. So that means I can attend another class. But at the moment, we're going to Fellcroft at the moment. We're going quite a fair distance. Hello. I'll have that coin, thank you very much. <clears throat> oh, there's a bit of lag. That's the first bit of lag I've actually come across in this whole game since I've been playing it. That's how we answer it on the map. Oh, we're there. <clears throat> so we've still got quite a way to go then. I say, open world? Yeah, definitely open world. Hello? I'll also have some of these as well, thanks very much. Yeah, I'll also have some moonstone while I'm here as well. Thank you.
Alright, let's have some bulk. Hogwarts Valley. The valleys. Hey, the wee valleys. Blazing flies. I love some of you as well, actually. More coin? More coin for the old man. Okay, more moonstone. Never have enough moonstone. Hello. Oh, I thought I was going to pick up then. Yeah. Okay, dokey. Um, but da but da but da but da Right. Well, still over 600 meters to go. Oh, we have got a long, <coughs> we've got a long way to go. Oh, hello. away with that. Really? Is that why you just lost? You stupid sod. I just beat ya. I love some of them as well. So it's always useful to pick up ingredients. You know. Hey I know. Hey a wee scallywag.
picked up loads of toadstools there. Ah, another hot air balloon. Ah, uh, no, this way. Hopefully there's a flea flame over here. Sebastian, let's go. Let's go! It's a cool. Southcroft used to be a lot livelier. But Ranrock's not wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. There we go, we've met Anne now. I'm sorry to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Oh, Sebastian. What's the visit you hoped for? I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you alright, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't. Truly. And I'm alright. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts. I wouldn't mind being in Belcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-order, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what's happened to me. And by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search 
Urkiel was futile and afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I don't, mm -mm. I don't know what happened there. Sebastian, this is my potion kit. No, yours. Leave my things alone. Actually, if I walk through the cairn. Nah, the cairn is static. Dear Anne, Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still a foul. But you know what I mean. Hopefully you feel better. We're nick an apple. A lap a lapple. No, we're nick an apple while we're here. Right, Solomon, where are you? Solomon. I'm going to break my last nerve. Oh our Excuse me, Mr. Solomon. Oh yes, I'm Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? Who is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. I'm so sorry. I understand you tried everyone from Nurse Bailey to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. The faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving up hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable. And stay out of the loyalist's way. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. One day. I hope to see how Sebastian's faring. Where is Sebastian? There he is. Why would she not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. He's calling me my father's son. That's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Randall's loyalists are capable of so much more than people <sighs> realise. Should not be underestimated. He's not giving up, is he? He is not giving up. All the debris you'll see is from what is going on. Well, I need to grab something from over here a second. Weirdly, we can only walk slow over the bridge, but then we can run.
Wi-Fi. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. <clears throat> well, there you go. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire. Worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations Rebellion. for everything. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Hmm. Can't see anything up there. Revelio. A uh, hello, hello. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. <laughs> Which house are you on about? Housing? Ah, this house. Sebastian, over here. Do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Hmm. Rebellion. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian's inside the house. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. 
The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch Keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. There you go. Oh, a stairwell. And a bed. Hello? Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Lumos. Okay, I'll let you read that, guys, yourself. I'll leave it up on the screen for a few seconds, for a little bit longer. Journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. And I'll let you read that one as well. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Revelia. Lumos. Hello? Can't seem to find anything else. Well, that's Lewis. bloody helpful. Lumos. Lumos. Ah, uh, hang on a second. That needs a specific spell, doesn't it? Lumos. Lumos. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got the wrong spell up. Lumos. Okay, for some reason. Revelio. Lumos. Hmm. Ow. Aha, uh -huh, hang on. Lumos. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. No, that's not a daydream, mate. That is not a freaking daydream. I know it sounds strange. Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. 
I'm tempted Numerous. to hold my breath. No, not that way. This way. Just gone into the undercroft. If people wanted to know. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Ah, uh, hello. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Hmm. Okay. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. Thank you. I'll be in touch. Till then. Okay, hey, another quest completed. Oh, so close to going to level 16. Oh, my dears. Hey, you oh, my dears. Right, quests. <clears throat> Professor Sharp. Okay, we need to go and attend, uh, was that divination? That was not divinations. Hello. The high keep. And reach level 16 for astronomy class. Divinations. But first we'll look in here. What have we got? A rune diagram. No, we need to go back in there, you pillock. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, here we are. Here we are. Okay, that's higher. Higher, higher. Okay, headwear. Yeah, no. Got 531 as well. Collections. Loyalist Commander. Ancient Magic Focus 2. And... Practice Dummies. Okay, combat. And field guide pages as well. Oh, that's that done. Outposts. Ok, 
Okay, meet me near the ruins near Felberton Castle after dark. Don't tell anyone. Natty. Damn, go back down to collections, traits. So we've got Lupus Protection 1 and Goblin Silver Resistance 1. There we go, but we're going to go to Burba de Burba de Burba de Boo. Actually, let's have a look at the map. Right, we're going to go to Central Hall. Right, now we're going upstairs. I believe we are. <clears throat> I think it might be Professor Hackett we're going to. I'd better keep an eye on high places oh around no. the school. Divination's classroom. I think we're going to see Mrs. Own oh, no. Miss. Oh. I'm going up a ladder. This is divination's class. There we go. So knowledgeable. Really? That is nice to know. What do we have here? Hello. Demigais. I hope those assignments were challenging enough. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now. As you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? I see good things. After all, the future's mine for the taking, and I shall take what I must. Hmm. The future is not etched in stone. It can be carved out by those with very strong wills. And you do seem to possess one. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your target. We're learning Descendio. Which I think brings things down, I think. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Where's the training dummy? Oh, down there. Hello, training dummy. Wow. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. 
not stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test outside of the classroom. Bye bye. I believe. I believe I can fly. I believe I can. What's this guy? Astronomy class. We can attend astronomy class. Excellent. Yeah, we'll jump to where charms class is, and we're going to go to astronomy class. And then I think, guys, we're going to make um, astronomy class the last thing we do today. <coughs> oh, there we go. We go for a ghost. Ghosty. We've got the astronomy tower now. Resource indeed, your field guide. Thank you. Astronomy class. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Mr. Takar. Here, Amit. I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. There we go. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Dismissed. Oh, uh, hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Emmett. Are you sure you won't need it? <clears throat> I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I. Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. 
There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. I was good that. Oh, there we go. We're off spinning the world again. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. Okay, we just picked up some more coin. Ah, a pristine night for stargazing. Right, you've gone downstairs, haven't you? Oh, Peeve, shut up. Perfect night for... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes? What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Oh, no need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. More we go. Some say the locations Rebellion. of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Do you know, we're going to have plenty of leaping toadstools. Plenty. Huh. Lumos, it is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. These cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Amit, could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. Lumos. Lumos! More cobwebs. Oh. You don't think any spiders might be lurking Incendium. about? Oh, no. Not this close to the Lumos. school limit. Look! There's a table! I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Yeah, it does. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart.
stargazing is all about patience and precision. Got it. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. <laughs> it's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Thank you. Lumos. Right, there we go. We go down there. I'm just going to see if we... Um, right, we need to be level 17 to do that quest. So the high key, we need to be level 17. Locate our map, please. Okay, it is there. Okay, I've got no flu thingies there. The closest one's the Ravenclaw Tower. <clears throat> I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. What might have Dibidi bear bear bidi boo boo. There you go, words. Now, what I might do after this, guys, once I've done this mission, I might nip into Hogsmeade and sell some stuff, see if we can buy a broom. Yeah, we'll plonk that up there. Thank you. And then I think after we've done that... Oh, it's not you again, is it? Wow, the Great Hall. Hey! Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. Right, are you gonna... I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Ominous is right. Meddling in the Dark Arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently.
was asked to cast it himself as a child. He couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Right, okay. Take it, I was just a little side, a little side chi 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 A little side chat then. Right, okay, let's go over to Hog Hog Hoggy's Mead. See if we can, um. Uh, what's the word? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Right, uh, let's wait. Please go into daytime. Uh, get up. Right. Let's go to the uh, Broom and Peck shop. Bear with me a second, guys. I will be with you momentarily. Oh, we've got a thingy bobby over here as well. Pavilion. That's the thing I wanted. No, you bitty ba ba bitty bit. Words. I cannot talk words today. Hey, the wee words. Oh, there's another one. Another one bites the dust. Din, din. How nice to see you, too. It's pick and peck even Hogsmeade, open. Here I come. Yeah, it's pick and peck is open. No, 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 no. Pick and peck. I didn't want the animal one. No, no, I don't want alabanders. That's where I wanted to go. Godric Gryffindor. This is where I want to go. Ah, new face, wonderful. Revelio. I love that as well. Thank you very much. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. 
Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll Let's have, have a look that. around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Ah, yeah, we can actually afford a broom. Ha ha. So we've got the Ember Dash broom. We've got the Hogwarts. So <coughs> here we go. Item is of the highest quality. So yeah, that's the Ember Dash broom. That's the Hogwarts house broom. That's the Moon Trim broom. That item the Wind is the Wisp highest broom. Quality. And the U Weaver. I actually like the Ember Dash broom, but that which item is, is in that the highest one. quality. But uh, yeah, you'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. 
and I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Thank you. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Right, let's um, look in here. So gear, what do we got? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna check that one out in the room of requirement. Okay, we grabbed ourselves a telescope. Okay, we've got one trait to add, so we're going to add it to the Dark Arts, Disarming Curse, Collections, so, Butterbeer Barrels, Heng Hengis of Woodcraft, Spint Witch's Sporting Needs. Right, a Niffler, giant purple toad, and a Fwoop. Uh, what else we got over here? Okay, we've got the Ember Dash Broom. Exploration. And right, I completely forgot what I was going to do now. Hogwarts map. Right, we will leave that mission till next time. Grand staircase. Ravenclaw common room. That's where we're going to go, to the Ravenclaw common room. And then I think we will end for today. I say I will be back with more of this Hogwarts legacy as well, guys. I will be back with more. Yeah, I say I will be back with more of this, guys. So, yeah. But yeah, I say, it's been fun, guys. I say, we've bought ourselves a broom, we've been to plenty of classes, you know, we've learnt a few spells, we've done astronomy and stuff like that, so we've done quite a few, fa a few, a few, a few, a few things. But yeah, I say, I will be streaming more of this, guys, as well. And just so you know, guys, as I have said in the stream, Train Sim will free content has now been removed from my channel i say i won't be doing any more train sim world free content for a while now i say i want to focus on other games and do other stuff on the channel so at least you guys are getting a bit of a mixture but yeah there we go guys but if you've been watching this and you're watching this on youtube feel free to subscribe feel free to the notification bell as well also feel free to like and share as well <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'll put all well, my links in the doobly doo down below, like my Twitch. I'll put my Discord link down below there, and I'll also put Hogwarts Legacy so you guys can have a look. But yeah, to go through the days, guys, as I say for Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and PC, Hogwarts Legacy is now available. For Xbox One and PlayStation 4, the Hogwarts Legacy will be coming on the 4th of April. And for Nintendo Switch, uh, Hogwarts, Legacy will, Hogwarts Legacy will be coming on the 25th of July. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is everything from me. I will be back with more Hogwarts Legacy. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Stay safe, guys. Stay happy. And I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>